Hi everyone. It's Paris here from Mount Eliza. How is everyone? Sunday the 9th of May. Happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful women out there today and especially the great mums. I'm just going to try and change so you can see the writing in the background to be clearer. Now Philip and I are here at the cemetery because it's all right let this guy go Philip because um, we're here to lay some beautiful flowers for Philip's mum so I'll just turn the camera around when I this what's going on let's have a look here what's going on um, I can't turn the camera around I'm trying to turn the camera around let's have a look no it won't let me turn the camera around no, I can't do it all right let's go across the road so we're gonna we're just here at the Springvale Cemetery here in Melbourne. And every year, Mother's Day and Father's Day, we lay beautiful flowers. There's Philip here, he's got some beautiful flowers from our garden. Now, I don't know why I can't turn the camera around. But anyway, you can see us here walking. It's like a shopping center here today. It always is Mother's Day. So many people come. You can hear the lorikeets, hey? And the trees, aren't they beautiful? So we're just going because um, Philip's parents Sheila and Joe, what is it, Sheila and, and I forgot your dad's name. Lizzie. Lizzie. I keep calling him Joseph because it's his middle name. Anyway, so I'm going to try and turn this camera around so you can see what we're doing here. I, I can't figure out the settings on my phone, something's happened. And I'll just have Philip in the background so you can see there what he's doing. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. Hope you're having a nice day wherever you are. I know there's a lot of sad situations out there about um hi belinda how are you happy mother's day darling happy mother's day so i'm going to try and turn this camera around which i can now okay so we're at belinda we're at the um springvale cemetery here and i'll just um this is what philip does all the time when he comes no one else comes here for sheila and les absolutely no one it's just us no one else gives a hoot to come and lay any flowers Philip's the only one that does it. Philip's the only one. So it's um I'm right at home here at the cemeteries, as you can imagine, friends. And uh, I'll show you the plaque of uh, Philip's parents. Philip's father died when Philip was 14. You see Leslie Joseph. I call him Joseph. It's funny. And Philip always cleans it. Someone's got to clean it. So I'll just come the other way, Philip, one moment, just so I can take you that way. So let's, let's, let's see. So I've got Leslie Joseph. He died in 1961 when you were 14, was it, Philip? 13. 13. And there's um, Sheila Francis Reed. 2009. 2009. And Philip always, he does this every year we do this. We come. Since I've been with you, Philip, do you reckon it's been every year? Every year I've come with you, with you, isn't it? Four times a year. Though. Four times a year we come. Yep. What what is it? It's um birthdays, is it? Birthdays. Do we come birthdays? Yes, birthdays. Birthdays. Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Anniversary. And Christmas. And Christmas. Okay. Yeah. So um, we're here, friends, and um, with Philip, and um, makes Philip very happy. If it makes him happy. Makes me happy. He's uh, quite pedantic, making sure that everything is clean and everything is sorted. But even though we talk to our loved ones, you know, friends, we talk to our loved ones all the time. It doesn't matter where you are. We can talk to our loved ones. Where's, where's Philip gone? He's just um, reflecting for a few moments, just um, talking to your parents. His, his mother is a Capricorn. She was a hard mother, wasn't she, Philip? No, no, been a Capricorn she was a she wasn't, uh, but isn't that who you took after being stubborn, your mum? No, that, that I'm not stubborn, <laughs> All right, okay, all right, I'll let you reflect a bit. And friends, those of you who've lost a lot of loved ones, um, today's a very hard day for you. If you've lost parents that you've been close to, or if you're a mum and if you've lost children, you know, you pass the cemetery here, with, which is for all the children, it's just tragic. It's very, very sad very sad friends you know I don't believe in that kind of karma things happen for realistic reasons not because of karma so um so there's beautiful flowers here Philip you've got here beautiful yeah, nice flowers colors. Nice colors. 
They're from our garden, aren't they beautiful friends? So what, are they are they roses, aren't they, Philip? You yes. They're beautiful roses. Just beautiful. Just beautiful roses. Aren't they beautiful? Can you hear the lorikeets, friends? <laughs> Let's see where the lorikeets are. Let's see where are the lorikeets. Can you hear them? They're beautiful. There they are. They're up there amongst the eucalyptus trees. Isn't it beautiful, friends, that even nature comes to cemeteries? They make a place so beautiful and colourful, full of love. Anyway, friends, just wanted to show you there's a lot of aspects to our life. We don't just do birds and that. We have a lot of social commitments and responsibilities too. There's a lot of things. Did you want to talk to your mum a bit more, Philip? No, no. Did you want to talk to mum a bit more? No. Well, we talk to her at home anyway, right? Yeah. We talk to her all the time. I talk to her all the time. Philip talks to her all the time. Now, I don't like this, Philip, because this is dangerous for birds. This is a cable. This is a cable. Chuck that out in the rubbish because birds will might tie it around their neck and hurt themselves. So, friends, this is, I'll turn the cemetery around so you can see here at Springvale in Melbourne. Springvale Botanical Cemetery. And um, we're just going to go and have a nice cup of tea. And... Um, reflect on Sheila. They've got a lovely cafe here. I love the cafe here. So um, anyway friends, I was going to show you more the children's cemetery further down. I might stay on the phone. Oh we're going that way. Okay we're going the other way. Anyway I might switch it on when we go to the cafe. I'll see how I go but I want to wish you guys all most beautiful Mother's Day. It's beautiful and sunny in Melbourne but all over the world I think they're celebrating Mother's Day. And I want you all to, especially the mums that are real and genuine and have children because they want to have kids, right? That we're all different personalities, we're all different characters. We do the best we can, right? We do the best we can. You know, I would have had a, a, a child now in their 20s, but I had some issues in my 20s and I couldn't keep the baby. So that's a big thing for me. It's not something I've spoken about publicly before. But... Um, Child is in my heart, in my soul, and in our memories, and that's the best we can do, right? To remember people that we've lost. Remember, their spirit is always around us, always around us. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sending you all love and a beautiful day today, and uh, hugs, especially for those who have lost uh, their loved ones. Okay, love you all. Bye, everyone.